heaven high because hell is low. This is uh, a little something on satanic toys that I just happened to buy by accident. This logo is from a franchise called Bendy and the Ink Machine. And it's a total Disney ripoff. This one comes from, I'm sorry, the, the two Bendy toys I have are from Series 2. And there are six in this collection altogether. These, I believe, were made to be compatible with Legos. Now, one of the two I got was Bendy himself. But Bendy doesn't come with a, an ink machine. He comes with some Bellring Carnival strongman attachment. I mean, it looks like something you play with at the carnival to me. And it's probably just an excuse to give him a hammer. I mean, at first, I thought he was kind of like a Disney ripoff, but Satanic Mickey here is straight from Disney. And Allison here, I believe, is his friend. Allison looks very, very spaced out and Satanic to me, with the little horns on her head and her kind of medieval gothic outfit. I mean, he will set us free. What kind of shit is that? I mean, I thought we'd get a little corn and ink, but now I'm really thinking it's written in blood, especially since she came with the sword, and I saw pentagrams in the video game. This is Tom. Tom is an old school goofy wannabe. I mean, dude's dressed humbled and comes with the pipe. Oh, he's kind of armed with the pipe, so that to me says creepy victim. I mean, he comes with a couch and a boarded up window. And now we get to Robo Bendy. He definitely looks like an undead, an undead Terminator Bendy. You know, extra twisted with his bench saying, The creator lied to us. Man, he's just a dark, creepy cyborg with a bench. And probably someone you don't want to run into in the video game. So fifth here we have the Lost Ones, or at least one of the Lost Ones, and he comes with no type of weapon, not that he needs it, you know, a soul, and he has a little background there, it's like a screen with a projector light, or a stage and a spotlight. I'm not quite sure what that is in the background there, but it does say he will set us free, and it's quite creepy. That is not the toy I would buy if I saw. And number six is the projectionist, who appears to be a machine man with a projector head. What's he got there? A bolted door for a background? That's something creepy I noticed. Uh, the top three are like moving creatures, and I believe the bottom three are like soulless. It's just crazy how the devil is deceiving us in these last days. Uh, these were made by a toy company that also produces another satanic toy, a video game. That company is called Fat Mojo. I don't believe that that well. That's the mojo. The Fat Mojo symbol. That's Fat Ass Blurry Mojo. Now, I just picked two of these up the other day, and I, I checked out the video game. I can't give these to my kid. These are murderous, possessed puppets. This here is the Shadow Bandit. He comes with a pop gun. And a bear trap. Lovely. From what I've seen, he is the lead playable character. And the first thing you get to see get possessed. Uh, I was looking at all these, and that they're all built like twisted demonic Pinocchios. I mean, this dude grieves here. He has a scissor blade attached to his arm. No hands, just saw blade and scissor blade. He comes with a saw blade, and this little bull horn or whatever horn thingy there. And it shows his hand, a stubby, crazy looking hand. 
Now that, to me, is a scary puppet. And his name is Greaves. Well, the last lady here had a sudden accent, and she was in the opening scene, waking the guy up. And she's definitely scary, twisted, and demonic, just like the rest of them, huh? This is how we are being deceived in these last of days. This is exactly how we are tricked into falling in love with evil things. God bless.